you would all please stand. Sidewalk Ends by Shell Silverstein. Listen to the muffins, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the wants. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. The Apache Wedding Blessing. Now you will feel no storms, for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold, 
for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no loneliness, for each of you is companion to the other. You are two persons, but there is one life before you and one hold. Turn together to look at the road you travel to reach this, the hour of your happiness. It stretches behind you into the past. Look to the future for what lies ahead. A long and winding adventure for the road, whose every turn means discovery, new hopes, new joys, new laughter, and a few shared tears. May happiness be your companion. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and all through the years to come. Go this day to your dwelling place and enter into your days together. May your days be good and long upon the earth. Your adventure has just begun. Let's get started. So, first thing I want to do is just affirm. I'm going to affirm this as a community and as individuals, starting with you. Matt, are you here today of your own free will and to declare your desire to marry her? Thank you. And you, Matt. Eric, excuse me. Are you here of your own free will to declare your marriage to Matt? And to the individuals, the community here bearing witness, please affirm by saying, I do as well. Do you, as members of this community, knowing love, having experienced it in your own lives, know it to be the most powerful force for good? If you agree, say, I do. And through that love, will you do everything in your power to support Eric and Matt in their marriage? And knowing that love is such a transformative force, as expressed and embodied by these two beloveds, in, and in this union, do you affirm that this love is a gift to the world? With these declarations of support, solemn yet joyful, remember them. They are the echoes of your love. They will reverberate past this present moment of this marriage ceremony and continue throughout time. The community, they say, is the heart of love. And so you have this entire community. Please look at all these faces that are here to support you. That love is there. And this love is made stronger with it. So, one of the greatest expressions of love that you two have is wine and food. <laughs> I know when we're going to roll it into this ceremony, right? As you two continue to grow in richness and in depth with your love together, the metaphor of wine is very active in love. It starts very young and it's fresh. It's got a lot of energy and fight to it and it mellows, and at the same time sweetens, and grows in richness and depth. So, at this moment, we're gonna start with the vows of wine. started dating and it was actually scented with this wine. Uh, they had a partnership. Uh, it was a recycled bottle. It was really cute and it to me really showed Matt's generosity, his kindness, his compassion um, and I still have the candle at home. Uh, we went and found the wine afterwards and, and tasted it and it, the wine itself is uh, very oaky, very earthy. Um, it's from Chile which is cool. They're one of the places I had been uh, prior to meeting Matt. Um, and the bottle has a lot of roots on it, as you can see. And I hope that uh, by mixing this with your wine mat, that it brings that uh, solid foundation to our relationship that we built um, and continues and helps us uh, really establish an amazing life. Thank you. So for 
my wine, I have a Trapiche Oak Cast Malbec. Um, it's one of our favorite wines that we found together. And I chose it because it comes from Argentina Mendoza, which is one of the trips that Eric and I always wanted to go on, but he's already attended once. <laughs> um, so it's not only something that we enjoy, but something that we look forward to in the future. as you sip and you partake of this wine, this combination of the two and at the same time maintaining the individuality of each, may it be a symbol going forth to enjoy the little things, to continue the adventure, to continue to be yourselves and together at the same time. So the next piece and forgive me, I need to ask, can everyone hear me? Because I'm not sure about this thing. I will project. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to read the vows next. So shall you. So Matt, as Kareem had noted, we met in 2014. Um, a lot of people will say that love does not happen at first sight, I beg to differ. Um, when I saw Matt, there was really an instant connection. He sat at my table, he smiled. Uh, we were at a work conference, and um, those, minute, those next few days, I really got to know you a little bit. Um, I saw your kindness, um, again, your generosity, your optimism, um, your all-around character, your uh, just overall drive for uh, happiness. In, in general, and it was refreshing. Uh, and, and those qualities are really what drew you to me, Matt. Uh, they were very endearing. And I think other qualities that you have, like your organizational skills, and <laughs> <laughs> your tidiness, uh, and even maybe your just outward southern charm will compliment me very well. For this. Uh, you are really, honestly, one of the most genuine people. say I was a little apprehensive at first, uh, meeting your family, being a vegan, any, any Yankee, that was a little daunting. <laughs> but I have to say that uh, your family has an amazing, warm, and gracious, and welcoming. Uh, I, I can't complain at all. I know a lot of people will say bad things about their mother-in-law, but I can't look for a better mother-in-law than Joni. Um, we had a wonderful vacation together recently. I've had great trips down to Georgia and Tennessee. geographically as close to your family as we would love to be. And I want to make a promise to you that we're going to try to keep your family as close as we can um, as we build our lives together. I know it's been probably challenging with my family. We are a, a rather loud Italian family <laughs> in northern New Jersey. Um, you've acclimated so far for the most part. <laughs> uh, I know my family adores you. Uh, you. You've really become part of the family. Have you referred to you as Uncle earlier today, which is amazing. I honestly wish that my grandmother could have met you, Nana. For those I know, Nana, she was a special lady. Um, I think she would have said that you were uh, probably a good boy for one of those. <laughs> as Nana would have said. I'm honestly very proud to have all of our families together today. So again, thank you all for coming. I know it's uh, the journey for some of you. Um, Matt, we've had a lot of travels and adventures over the last few years from the jungles of Cambodia, the jungles of Costa Rica recently, from the beaches of Phuket to the beaches of Kauai. Uh, we were at cafes in Paris, cafes in Quebec. We've really been around the world, which has been amazing, and I really look forward to another host of adventures with you starting tomorrow for our afternoon. can't believe that's great right here as well. I know that, you know, outside of that, we spend a lot of time with our family and our friends. Uh, we discover a lot of great new places in New York City, new bars, new cafes, new restaurants. Uh, we also spend time at home, just the two of us, crunching around with Yoli, working on the house, spending time outside, uh, watching TV at night. Um, it's just been a, a wonderful time that we've had together, and I really look forward to a life
lifetime of happiness. So, you know, uh, Matt, I promise that I'm going to always be by your side, uh, your champion, your rock. I promise to respect you and support you. I'll be there for you through the good times and the bad times. Um, my love will be enduring. Whatever path our lives may take, um, I want to travel together with you. Um, my plane, my foot, automobile, boat, <laughs> train, whatever it takes. And again, I, I can't wait to spend the, life, the rest of my life together with you, Matt. I'm truly blessed to have you in my life. And I love you now and forever. Four years ago, I met you in San Francisco, but I've always known you were meant to be in my life. Over the past few years, we've flown to countless countries and traveled to four, soon to be five, continents. Your passion for seeking out new experiences and sampling new cultures has fascinated me from the day that I met you. May that met you. Thank you for holding my hand through the turbulence of many flights and through the losses our families have endured over the past year. The man I fall in love with would not be the same person without his family. I've grown to love a large, sometimes loud, Italian family that has so openly adopted me into the fold. To Eric's mom in particular, you have given me a loving man with whom I will share my life. I will treasure every day your son as my husband. And to my parents, who taught me to love unconditionally first. I know that I am able to love and cherish Eric so much because you loved and cherished me first. To quote J.K. Rowling, we can't choose our fate, but we can choose others. Be careful in knowing that. I made the choice many months ago to share my life with you, and I vow to choose you every day, over and over, in good times and bad. I vow to communicate fully and fearlessly, living in the truth of our love. I vow to walk hand in hand with you, regardless of where our journey takes us. I vow to respect you and honor you. I take with you all of your faults and your strengths as I offer myself to you with all of my faults and my strengths. I vow to be yours in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health. I vow to make sure there is always coffee and wine in large supply. I vow to be your partner in all things, not possessing you, but working with you as a part of the whole. I vow to be your confidant, your best friend, and your husband, for you have given me the greatest gift of my life, love. And with these vows, represented in these rings, which paradoxically are unending as a circle, a circle of love, a circle of love that is between you two, alive in these vows. And yet how long we will because it only matters because you are there for each other, with each other. So at this point, take your rings and we will start. The other one. <laughs> Matthew, do you take Eric as your husband from this day forth to have and to hold, to love and to cherish? I do. I do.